Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzu7 here again, and welcome to another video of the Clue Scroll series. I have with me in my inventory five reward caskets for the master clue scrolls that I got in the last episode at the end with that insane luck from those hard clues. So I'm really looking forward to opening these. Had to spend quite a bit of money on some of the uh, emote items and stuff, but I'm glad I was able to get all these clues done. Some of the tower puzzles were a bit annoying as well because... Uh, some of them can have like multiple solutions which makes them annoying to solve but because I've done all of these pretty early on on the first day these are seven that I've completed now I'm actually in the top 100 on the clue scroll master high scores um, 90 second so that's pretty cool took a little screenshot of that but I'm looking forward to opening these my friend Alex here also has one uh, master himself that he's gonna open so wish him the best of luck um, I'm not sure I guess I'll open mine first uh, for the video and then we'll see what he gets from his as well so five master caskets I've only already done two so far and they were pretty lackluster I mean the second one I did get those tuxedo boots or whatever but they weren't really worth much didn't really sell for much either so wasn't too happy about that but let's go ahead and open my first one up let's see what we get oh my that's pretty bad I'd say I'm probably gonna have to re-roll this one I do have one re-roll and I will get another one as well um, I might as well just reroll this because it's no unique in here and nothing really worth too much. So go ahead and reroll it. And oh, what is that? An evening masquerade mask. All right, can't imagine that being worth too much, but I think its base price has been set at five mil, which who knows really if Jagex knows what they're talking about with that. Doubt it's worth too much, but it's still, that's a, another piece to the uh, collection. And while I'm at it, let me quickly um, clear my wardrobe so I can at least check it out. How do you do that? I don't really even know. Uh, I don't know how to really clear everything. Let's see. Erase to clear all. Yes, apply. Okay, so I think that cleared everything. Got some super ugly stuff on just for doing clues with. But let's see what this thing looks Oh shit, it's a, something you hold in your hand. And you like hold it up in front of your face like a... Oh, okay, that's kind of weird. I wasn't expecting that. I thought you would put it on. That's kind of cool. You kind of stand like a little bitch too while you're using it. Alright, that's okay. Okay, not too bad for the first one, although we did have to reroll to get that. Um, let's go ahead and open the second one here, see what we can get. Oh yeah, that is, that is some good stuff right there. That's what you like to see. The 379k, basically an elite... Not very good at all, unfortunate, but we'll just move on. We got three more to go, so let's see what we can get from number three. Oh man, pretty bad loot so far, to be honest. I mean, 685k, whatever, but nothing really good individually in there. Um, this one will give us another reroll, so hopefully we can uh, not need to use it, but unfortunately we do. Let's go ahead and reroll, and we still don't get much good, honestly. Unfortunate once again. So we do only have one left to go. Hopefully we can get at least one more unique from this one. Otherwise I'm going to be a little bit disappointed to be honest. Um, but let's go ahead and pop it. And yeah. Wow, that's probably the most disappointing five masters you will ever see. When we only got one unique with the masquerade mask. Uh, but yeah, I guess Alex can go ahead and pop his open. And uh, show me the loot once uh, for the video as well. So we can kind of have six in here. Sounds like you got something good. Let's see what it is. A soul ornament kit. That has got to be worth a lot. Those do that, this is day of release. He is going to sell that really fast. I am sure that that is worth a lot. Uh, but I'm going to go to the Max Guild as well. Try to sell my evening masquerade mask. I'll just throw it in for five. It probably won't sell. Yes, it did not sell. So that's fine. I wasn't expecting it to. I'll just throw it in for a hundred because probably nobody has it, so might as well just toss it in there. But either way, let's see how much he got for that. He probably just insta dumped it. Seventy-five mil. Wow. So I kind of got cucked there. I've d I did five masters, got basically nothing. He did just. I think that was his second one. Managed to get a really good item, the Soul Ornament Kit, so congrats to him, but unfortunately nothing exciting for mine, but I'm going to continue on in this video uh, with some more 
hard clues maybe. I might actually go try to do some easy clues from pickpocketing ham members. I'm not 100% sure yet, but definitely going to continue doing some more clue scrolls and hopefully I can get a little bit more lucky on my next round of Masters. Ooh, not the best. Let's go ahead and re-roll that for sure. Well, you know, that's just what happens sometimes. This, this is where this is where I regret not opening them both at once. Ah, you know, I'll take it. You know, you know, that's pretty good. You gotta take you gotta take what you can get, you know? You gotta take it. Alright, so I've got a little batch of ten easy reward caskets here for you guys. Um just went and got these from pickpocketing in the ham uh, dungeon, so it was pretty quick to get them and also decently quick to do them, although when you're first starting out with these, filling up all the hidey holes is going to be a bit of a pain buying all the crappy items and stuff. But once you get those filled out, you'll be able to smash these out pretty quickly and easily, so I'm looking forward to doing them all once I have all those done. Um, but yeah, I figured I'd just do some easies because I do want to eventually you know, as a meme, pretend I'm going for all the collections, and at the same time, want to see if I could get any masters from easies as well, although it's probably way more rare, but might as well give it a try. So either way, uh, my friend Alex also has 10 easies, so he's going to loot 10 and see where you can see who gets better loot. But I'm going to start off by opening my first one here, and oh, okay, good start. We got a black cane, worth quite a decent bit there. I'll definitely take that. Let's keep on opening. All right, that's absolute trash. Nothing to worry about there. This next one. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, let's not talk about it. Ooh, the Amulet of Magic trimmed. Another nice one. That's pretty good. We're doing pretty good so far. And we just plummet down into shit house right there. Let's see if we can pick it back. Uh, nope, definitely not. So let's try again maybe on this one. Pawn of Nietzsche, no, definitely not. We'll go ahead and reroll once again. And trash again. See if we can get anything this time. Tie woven eye teleports. You can't really expect much coming into the easies, or you're always going to be let down if we're on. Oh! A 1 million loot from that one with the three Guthix pages. That's actually sick. I'll take that for sure. And then the last one. Oh, oh. I'm not going to reroll that, I don't think, for actually, because. I can just re-roll it again, and one I do in the future at some point. So that's pretty decent, actually. Um, so I guess Alex already opened his 10. Let's see what he got. Um, so yeah, just <laughs> just put up all the stuff at once. And then, okay, two Zami pages. That's pretty good. Uh, anything else notable? Black plate skirt, H5. The crossbow counts as a fortunate component, I think. Um, but for some reason the 2H crossbow does not, which was what I got, so that's pretty great. Um, okay, so that was 2.28 mil, and then mine is 3 mil. So it looks like I won the the little competition by a bit there, mostly because of my triple Guthix page luck, as well as I got some pretty good random fortunates at the beginning from the Black King, the Amulet of Magic. But yeah, that was a fun little thing. Unfortunately, uh... I believe neither of us got a master clue, so it is obviously going to be quite rare from easy clues, not really expecting it, but not too bad. Uh, I'll quickly run to the bank and check my collection log from those. I probably just only got those two, uh, the cane and the amulet, I'd assume. Let's just make sure. Yep. We have two out of 81 of all these crazy rewards, which you'll probably never get all of them, but we now have the black cane and the amulet ticked off. All right. I'll see you guys for the next clip. I'll probably go back to some more hards, I believe, or maybe if I decide to go to God Wars, I'll have some elites as well. All right, we have 20 hard reward caskets here to open up. Looking forward to this. Been smashing these out for a couple hours now. I uh, got them from Hellhounds. Just did about an hour on my lunch break. Managed to get 20 of the wrapped scrolls or whatever. And now I've got them all put into reward caskets. This puts me up to 157 hards completed. And I'm at 1379 points. So a little over 100 points off of 1500. Which I want to buy the jacket with as my first item for that set. Because it should be pretty useful taking me to spots that are annoying to get to for like elites or masters that being said got 20 hearts here really hoping to get two or three masters from it uh that's pretty much my 
goal at the moment, but any more than that would be obviously nice as well. And then any loot I can hopefully get is obviously going to be cool to see. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up our first one here. And we get a Quartz Summons, a Zami Full Helm, which is not a fortunate component, unfortunately. But I feel like I always get Quartz Summons once I do them from a hard. So I'm, I'm not going to go do it now. But uh, yeah, I don't think I have too many of those left to even get. Let's see what I get from this one. Okay, Zamorak Coif, I'll definitely keep that for the fortunate. No need to waste the reroll so early on. Let's open another. And there's our first reroll of the uh, 20. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh my. Well, let's just ignore that. Pretend it. Uh, <laughs> okay, and uh, let's just go ahead and reroll again. All right, we're really, really. Oh, okay, that's pretty decent. After quite a shit fest there for a couple of clues, and we're six in now. No master yet. Hopefully we can get one before we hit ten. That would be nice to see. Oh, okay. We got a Ceridum and Crozier. That's decent enough. Going to have to reroll this one. That's pretty bad. And it's even worse. Where is the master clue? Oh, you know, it looks good, but it's not because apparently these aren't worth a lot. But that helps for the collection probably. Still no master clue, and we didn't get one at the halfway point. That is unfortunate. No uh, really repeat of my luck from the other day, unfortunately, getting four in six hards. But I really hope we can get at least one. We're going to have to reroll this reward. That's pretty bad. All right, at least we got a fortunate from that, but still not the best. And, oh, my. That's pretty bad, honestly. Let's keep rolling here. Oh my god, are you serious with this crap? I'm so done. I've probably gotten like seven of these in my life, and they're supposed to be rare, and I just get them all the time. <laughs> like, what is this clue right now? Rune Legs G, Magic Combo, and a Fury T. Like, I guess, you know, nice for the amount, but that just pisses me off at this point, honestly. And this one is crap, so let's go ahead and re-roll it. And, oh, yes! Okay, we got a master clue, finally. Uh, glad to get at least one. I uh, really hope I can get, you know, at least one more, to be honest. But pretty good as well with the skipping tickets, 730k. Let's keep moving on here with the next one. We get crap, pretty much. Yep, pretty much crap. One more. Yes! Another master. Sweet. We got our luck turning around here. Sarah skirt and a U combo as well. So that's two masters now. Hopefully we can get a third in these last four, but that might be asking a little bit much. All right, let's go ahead and open another. All right, I will keep that for sure. 750k with the not skipping tickets. I'll keep that one as well. U combo, no doubt. 600k. Let's go ahead and open another. All right, we'll keep this one as well. 700k. You know, hopefully we can actually use these two rerolls on this last one, I guess. But you know, I guess not using rerolls isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, ooh, 772k. I guess I'm just going to keep these two rerolls for our next uh, session of hards. But that was pretty good in the end. We got two master clues and a uh, decent amount of loot for sure. Let's see what this inventory is worth at least on its own. Three mil. So it's probably way more because actually the beginning was pretty bad. Um, most of the good stuff came near the end. Um, we also, of course, got that Fury T, which I have two of now in here. Um, but yeah, we do have these two master clues, which I'm definitely going to go do, uh, next up. And then after that, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do for, uh, like my next set of clues. I might try some easies. I already have five in my bank here that are sealed. So that would be pretty decent. Uh, while I'm at it, actually, I'm going to check my, uh, collection log, see how many hard things I have now. 22 out of 118. So we got actually quite a bit of trimmed rune stuff from this little set uh, and no real duplicates so far as far as I can tell besides the fucking Fury T. Uh, so yeah that's pretty good pretty lucky um, I got the first one I believe before this started but yeah that's 20 hard clues and in the next clip we're going to be opening up two masters okay we have our two reward caskets for those two master clues we got from the 20 hard extravaganza so i um, looking forward to opening these. Hopefully we can get one unique. Um, I think I will get a reroll on the second one. Uh, I believe. I'm not 100% sure though. Uh, we'll have to find out. But really hoping I can manage to get something nice from these. Um, the five that I opened last time were quite disappointing to be honest. Uh, with only one unique and it not being a good one. So 
This will put me up to nine masters completed, as you can see in the chat here, which is pretty good. Uh, I'll get a decent point bonus for my tenth, I assume. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open these two master reward caskets, starting with this first one. And yeah, that is just, you hate to see it. You really hate to see that when uh, when you're opening those master clues. But let's go ahead and open another one, and we will get the reroll. So hopefully we can get something from that at least because we're going to need it after this drop right here. Let's just pray to the gods that we get some on the reroll. And we got a Gilded Cavalier. That could be good. That's definitely a new thing for us. 1.5 mil. And let's get a look on it really quick. I'll just clear my wardrobe outfit. And let's equip that thing. Ooh, you know, that's some fashion scape. Somebody will definitely want to buy that, I'd assume. Let's go ahead and chuck it in the GE. What's the what's the base price? One mil? Yeah, right. Easily 50. Easily, folks. Easily. Okay, never mind. That didn't happen. I'll go for 10, and if it doesn't sell for 10, then I might just not sell it, to be honest. Keep it in the tab. Uh, yeah, it didn't sell. Well, that's unfortunate. You hate to see it. I thought it would be a little bit better since uh i mean it has gilded in the name but i assume it's not as rare as like regular gilded but still that's okay at least we got a unique it's not too bad um hopefully one day i can get actually something like really good but that is our third item on the master clue rewards l collection log so we now have the gilded cavalier evening masquerade mask and the tuxedo shoes so yeah, as for what I'm going to do for my next clues, I don't know, I'm probably going to end this video for now because uh, we did those five masters, then some hards, and then two more masters, a pretty decent amount of clues in this one. Probably go ahead and end it off and then start the next one up with another pretty big batch. I don't know, I might try and do some God Wars or something, see if I can get a couple elites, a couple hards and do those together. Then maybe I might throw in some easies in there. Just go for like a 25 pop of easies. See if I can get maybe one master from that. But we'll have to wait and see. Either way, really enjoying doing these clues. So definitely going to continue this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.